as we uh, move on to discuss this next story. Uh, Jordan is weighing the cancellation of a natural gas deal with Israel. According to reports on Israeli radio, the Jordanian parliament held a discussion on a natural gas import deal with Israel this afternoon, but Jordanian BDS movement activists had pressured members of the parliament to oppose the gas deal. Yes, and uh, Professor Navon, wh what do we know about the extent of power the Jordanian BDS movement has to influence the parliament in the country? I don't believe that this is a significant element in that uh, decision. Uh, we have to understand that Jordan, on the one hand, really needs natural gas. Uh, it imports all its natural gas resources and it's very uh, energy dependent. Uh, and Israel has the potential of providing uh, that natural gas. The two countries have a peace agreement since 1994. On the other hand, any Arab country, country will always prefer uh, to do business, uh, non with, not with Israel, but with an Arab country. Uh, it is always, so to say, embarrassing for an Arab country to openly admit that they do business with Israel, even though Jordan has a diplomat, I mean, a peace agreement with Israel. So if Jordan has other options, it will go for them because there they always are pressures internally, mostly because of the conflict with Israel, between Israel and the Palestinians, not to do business uh, with Israel. I think it's less due to the BDS movement than to the fact that the Jordanian government, if it has other options, will, will rather go for them, one of them being apparently uh, Algeria. Uh, but then again, the question about Algeria is how reliable it is as a country. As we know, the political system there is very unstable and unreliable. And Professor Navon, you mentioned how much uh, Jordan needs the gas and to import gas. What about Israel? Uh, would this be an economic blow if this deal should fall through for Israel? Look, if Israel becomes really a major uh, natural gas exporter, and notice that I said if because it is still in court as we know, so it might take a, a, a long time, but if and when it happens, there is no lack of customers in the region. Uh, first and foremost, uh, 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 Turkey, and this is why also we're witnessing these past few days a serious attempt uh, to uh, renew the ties between Israel and Turkey. So Israel will never be in a lack of customers in the region, in Europe and elsewhere. But of course, uh, it will be important for Israel to sign such a deal with Jordan because another potential supplier for Jordan is not only uh, Algeria, but possibly also Iran, especially after the uh, uh, repealing of the sanctions. So Israel, of course, would not want that to happen. Yes, Professor Emmanuel Navon shedding light on uh, Middle Eastern affairs for us tonight. Thank you very much Thank for you. joining me.